I was driving to Cloncurry and I wasn't in a hurry. So I stopped beside the highway for a spell. And in that pleasant glade was a notice well displayed with the story I am now about to tell. The notice was a roll of those who'd paid the toll while working on the railway to the west. Wives and workers perished with the children that they cherished and in lonely graves were gently laid to rest. Then I found my vision misted as amongst the men he listed the name of Clara Waters caught my eye. I imagined my own daughters in the place of Clara Waters while the busy highway traffic hurried by. How short her life had been, she was only seventeen, yet her story may be very simply told. The doctor might have saved her from the fever after labour. Her baby died when he was four days old. Then the scene before me shifted, as back in time I drifted, as back in time a hundred years I went. And through my muddled dreaming, a morning sun came beaming, on a battered billy steaming by a tent. For well, here is pretty Clara with her husband there to share a simple meal before their daily tasks. I am anxious now to meet her, so I hurry on to greet her with the questions that I know I have to ask. When the day is breaking, is there happiness in waking? Have you had your share of laughter, joy and cheer? You were very young to marry, and the baby that you carry, does it make you wish your mother could be near? In the coolness of the morning, in the piccaninny dawning, does your husband tell you often of his love? While the magpie's merry singing In the higher branches ringing Is bringing morning greetings from above Does the gentle evening breeze Waft the smoke up through the trees? Do you see the shaft of sunlight drifting down? Or has drudgery and duty Made you blind to every beauty While the camp is turning dusty, bare and brown With a bed of planks and sacking And with every comfort lacking Growing heavy as your time is drawing near In your shabby tent so dreary Are you very often weary Do you sometimes shed a lonely silent tear. And when her son was born on a hot December morn, and the deadly fever started on its quest, was there time for her to hold him, and in her love enfold him? Was there time to give him comfort at her breast? Of course there's no replying to my questions and my prying And suddenly I know it's time to go But I reckon I'll remember what happened that December In the summertime a hundred years ago When a road train passes there's a ripple through the grasses as if to wave a fleeting sad goodbye to Clara and her son, their lives so briefly run, and the busy highway traffic rushes by.